Today, Christian and I went to the range and we shot two pistols that have a very different features of both guns, the P365 Macro and the P365 AXG Legion Macro. Basically the same gun. One is steel frame, one is polymer. Christian and I shot a series of drills, not a lot of movement, no tactical stuff, but more just getting familiar with the pistols, seeing what features are on each gun we liked, and we're gonna sit down and give you guys our feedback, our opinions, and whether or not one is better than the other. All right, Jeff, what's the first? First, first gun, P65X Macro. That is the Palmer iron sight only. Since you shoot irons better than you shoot red dot, this gives an even advantage for the X Macro having the or excuse me, the XD Legion having the red dot on it. Mm -hmm. All right. 10 rounds, first target, slow fire on you. 10 rounds, first target. The whole time I was battling the sun <laughs> with the sunglasses. I will give you a credit break. and the folks at home. Crispy's target is moving with the wind. So, I mean, but, okay. It was 100% a vision thing. Like, it, everything's washed out. We're shooting into the shade right now. It's washed out for me. Like, I can't see very much. All right, <laughs> up next is Jeff on the polymer frame. <sighs> Irons. Let's see it. You know, this is an unfair advantage of my shitty eyesight. Sweet, how'd you do? What do you think? I've, I, since I own this gun, uh -huh. I shoot it well already, yeah. but I do not like how it feels now because we have the other one. So let's shoot the fancy one now. Shoot the fancy one. The fancy one's got a dot on it, right? Yeah. Nice. Next up, P365 AXG Legion. Okay. Same gun you shot earlier, mm -hmm. Advantage, in my opinion, metal frame, and the new Romeo X Compact. Sweet. Sounds good. This really is one of the coolest guns I've seen around right now. Um, checks the box for me. Mm -hmm. I Feels good I, to hand. I connect with this gun a lot, actually. I uh, hit the glasses with a big wipe, and now it doesn't look like I'm looking into the abyss. Mm -hmm. um, so this will probably be the like a wet too. wipe or like a Oakley cloth. Like wet wipe from glasses. Oh, not like a wet wipe for your in no. the toilet. No. Oh, okay. We're good. I can see a lot better, man. Earlier was so bad. Gosh, that reset is so long. I would have to work this gun a lot. You are a trigger snob. It's just not, it's just things people are. Yeah. We're, we're talking negatively about a trigger because the way it feels here at this point, mm -hmm. but look at your target. Yeah, it gets the job done. Yeah. I'm just saying, I definitely have to work through it. Yeah. Like, I'd have to get used to it. It's I different from what I shoot. I will agree with that. If you liked nine out of the 10 things and 10 was the trigger, mm -hmm. the investment of learning the trigger is the way to go. Because Yeah, I'm not saying, hey, man, I need a new trigger. I'd never buy this gun. I'd carry this over anything I have right now. Yeah. Trigger aside, i just saying I would need time on it to figure out, like, that reset. Yeah. Take that with you when we go back to the other one, mm -hmm. because I personally think the trigger on the cheaper one is uh, better. Okay, I got you. So. Yeah, the only thing I was paying attention to is the little length of reset, not right. the weight or pull or anything yeah. like that. Just... Yeah, no. sweet, move on. P365 AXG Legion. What did you think when you shot it? I liked it, man. Yeah? Yeah. Does it feel different in the hand with the metal grip, you think? You notice it right out the gate? Yeah, yeah. No, it's just comfy. Yeah. Like, it's a good gun. No, it's I, like, I noticed the grip is, fits, is, I feel it's more comfortable in my hand. Yeah. All right. Second target, right?
yeah, it just, I do feel the overall width, just, it just shoots better. I'll go more on that when we get back to the studio, okay. but I really do like this gun a lot. Feels like a, it's well balanced. Yeah. Since there's more weight on the bottom. Yes. No, I'm not really shooting this like a sommelier. I'm shooting this like a beginner shot, mm. just trying to get it down. So I haven't really paid attention to the nitty gritty details, but. What is a sommelier, Christian? They taste wine and probably other beverages. Do they, do they just taste it or do they tell you about the wine? Do they, they know where the grapes are made? What, the, what color the green vines are? They're very detailed. Oh, I see. They'll drink like rotten grape juice and tell you that's very leathery. Mm. One of the things I found today, um, give you guys some backstory. I've owned this gun for some time now. This gun I did get from Six Hour as a sample gun, and we have a full review on the AXG Legion up on the site, uh, or up on the channel, excuse me. And I thought this was kind of my go-to really, I, I didn't think it could be any better. I did have a EPS carry on here and a 1913 TR7, which I thought was really a very good combination. I did take all that off today so we would have a very stock gun for Christian to shoot with irons ability. And then of course I would just run the AXG Legion model as it came from SIG with the Romeo and the Foxtrot Light. This gun felt very good in the hand for a long time. Um, and I didn't really notice that that narrowness of the frame was something that was kind of a comfort feature that I didn't really know that it, what I didn't like. When I picked up the AXG Legion model, this kind of a swell on the frame, if you guys notice, because the magwell is wider, so the actual grip panels and the center of the frame here is slightly wider. I didn't realize that fitment in the hand would make a big difference for me. It's just a very, very noticeable comfort feature change that has the gun fitting my hand much, much better. I also feel that there is some recoil advantage between the two. Both guns are identical, right? And I'm not knocking SIG for that, but the pistols, if you guys, I'll give you guys a little top view here. Both have the expansion chamber. The macro is exactly one inch wide uh, from top to bottom of grip. It is probably the most narrow 17 round carry gun on the market today. Trigger is very clean, very crisp. I honestly think the trigger in the Palmer version is actually better than in the Legion version. And what was disappointing, I mentioned in my previous review of the Legion model, was that I was disappointed the trigger did not get some kind of special sauce. Um, this is the same trigger that's in this gun. Only difference is it's a slightly different color, um, but they are the same trigger. There's not an upgrade in the trigger department on the AXG. Um, I'm sure there's probably something out there aftermarket for you guys, but again, I'm not pointing that out because of a, of a function aspect. I'm just pointing it out as a feature set on the pistol when the pistol is so much more money than the Palmer version. I think the triggers on both guns shoot well. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to get used to the trigger itself, but I do feel that it's very adequate for the gun you're shooting. Recoil wise, there's a difference, right? Um, I can feel more recoil in the Palmer version than in the steel version. Um, the steel version just tracks very well. I can make this one shoot as well as this one, but not as naturally. I really have to focus, I really have to get that grip dialed in, I really have to track that front sight. Um, to really do this right, probably I should probably run them on red dot and the light on both guns and do one more test session. I probably won't do that. Um, I'm just gonna give you my down and dirty opinion, um, really to focus on one area, whether or not one gun is worth more money, right? But there's a $400 price difference between the two pistols. On the street, the 
macro runs you around 800 bucks, right? If you were to upgrade the macro to get something similar in an aftermarket metal frame, you're around like an Icarus or a midship machine, you're around $400. Throw right back to the base price of the gun. And guys, for this comparison video, um, don't really focus on red dot. Because red dot's something you have to choose and not everybody's gonna run red dot, right? So we're talking just base pistols, even though this has some accessories on it. So it goes right back to that question again. If you upgrade this one because the entry price was cheaper only to get to this price point, I think starting at this price point with the Legion frame, with the Maggo, with the three magazines, that's definitely worth the $400 you're gonna pay. And that's really kind of where I feel the $400 difference, price difference lands because you are getting the metal module, the Magwell, and three Legion magazines with the metal base pads. So when I, I talk about the $400 price difference, not like a negative thing, but when you look at the guns, you shoot both guns, um, it comes down to a accessories package upgrade and whether you need that or not. I found today that shooting both guns side by side, um, the four hours for me is worth it simply due to how much better the gun fits in my hand and how much better that I feel I can control recoil with the metal frame than I can with the polymer frame. I don't even know why he's wearing a beanie in the, indoors, but that's what it is. It never comes off, dude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't even think the girlfriend knows what's under this. Focus here. Yeah, okay? what, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? I said So it you shot both today. I did. What did you think knowing that one is twelve hundred dollars one is eight hundred dollars what did you find since you have not shot either one of these guns ever before right so you shot quite a few rounds today for mm -hmm. what where were we at with the time we were out there what did you think between the two guns so i said at the range and i'll say it again now i wasn't really able to shoot these as a sommelier you know what i mean i wasn't able to pick up on the nitty-gritty details i wasn't paying attention to like I was just under a string of fire and in the mm -hmm. moment, so I didn't really pick up on a lot of the details. I will tell you that the Legion model is 100% a gun that I connect with. And I, I like the whole Legion lineup and from aesthetics, I like the steel frame. Like mm -hmm. even when we talk Walther, Sig, anything like, I just always connect with the steel frame. I think there's a cool factor and a perceived value there. Um, and kind of my final thoughts would be kind of an abstract opinion where I don't think that I would carry this a lot, but because of the cool factor and how badly I want it, I do want to train with this. And okay. if you're going to train with this and put a lot of rounds on a gun such as this, it might actually help if your carry gun was the same exact gun, just lighter and cheaper. So my... Not so baller opinion, because you were worried about the four hundred dollar price difference. Uh, My answer: buy them both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which I'm not gonna do. But. Okay. So because I could see where some people are gonna agree with you that having that redundancy mm -hmm. is, is is a very viable option. A lot of dudes, you know, you know, I tell people we did a video years ago: um, carry gun, training gun. Right, mm -hmm. and that like having a carry gun and a full size version of a very similar pistol as your training gun. Mm -hmm. These, with them having three 17 round magazines, there's not a class anywhere in the country you couldn't go to and compete and keep up with the dudes running Glocks, SIGs, 2011s, whatever. Yeah. You got 17 rounds per magazine, you had three, four, five of these things, you were keeping up with anybody else in that class. No questions, hands down. So I see your point. The, it is a quarter pound heavier, right? And so for the person, but do you think if you had the right holster, right belt, do you still think you need the polymer one if you had the steel one and you had good support in regards to how you carry the gun? I've never. <laughs> That's fair enough, because yeah, you don't. I've, I've been I've bugging never, you. I've never carried. I haven't even really drawn from a holster as yeah. resistant to say that on video. But so I don't have like a, any. I've been bugging you, even a Merce for I, you. I you know. know. I mean, you could put the hat. Okay. You could put the pistol in that little slouchy Dude, and carry that around. If there was a way to get it in there, I'd give it a shot, but it never comes off. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> if you had to pick one today after shooting them, even though it's a limited time. Uh huh. 
Is there one you're gonna go to based on performance or grip or trigger? Because they're very similar guns. So which one speaks to you mm-hmm. outside of aesthetics? Outside of aesthetics? like. I'd, or I'd, does that even work for you because all the things that you check boxes on mm-hmm. are in the Legion? The next thing that I need for my arsenal, my gun my gun safe would probably be the polymer. I, I do think I would carry that more. And okay. that's the next thing that I would need to add. And this was already a really appropriate contender for that box. I agree that. And so that that's probably where I would start. But God damn it, that's cool. <laughs> no, it, I'm not gonna I'm a, I'm on the same boat as you because having this one for as long as I have, having it set up with I mean, I put the EPS carry Hollison on here at the green dot. I had the weapon light on there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I just really felt this was man, it, it's thin, it, it shoots great, optics ready, light and all that. And then you put the Legion in your hand, and today it was like, damn. It's a night and day difference in how it fits the hand, how the you know it just feels good, and I think the weight was a big deal in helping with recoil today. Yeah, you know, but I do see like for you, this gun comes with two seventy round magazines. You can get a much cheaper red dot. You can get like a Hollow Sun or something else, mm-hmm. and you could skip the weapon light, and you could probably be into this gun. Let's say probably seven fifty ish on the street. What mm-hmm. you say you shop around, you know, in a red dot, you could probably be into this gun right a, just a smidge over a thousand bucks, mm-hmm. right? So, is that with the trigger work that I would very certainly <sighs> do to it? I, I don't know <laughs> if it would need trigger work mm-hmm. or simply just more time shooting it and learning it. Yeah, you're right. Right. That was because another takeaway. Mine. You, the front side. I'm putting a red. Yeah, you could probably. Something you made a valid side. point today with that. Like, and unless the ambient light that I'm using is facing from behind me forward, mm-hmm. um, that is because when we switched over to that other berm and the and it was behind us, and you could probably just use some footage of that target in the B-roll. Um, there was a. You had a valid point. There was a ton yeah. of. Of dot acqui- or site acquisition with different lighting angle yeah. than when we were shooting it at the other berm. Well, so it was the target was shaded, the backdrop behind the target yeah. was shaded. My glasses were mucky, and we were looking right into the sun. Like there was just a whole combination of lighting conditions where it's like I couldn't even capture it on camera. Usually, I'm not like a snob about that sort of thing. But you it were, was rough. You were wearing some bougie ass Ray Bans. It though. was rough. That's real. You could probably get some like, clear glasses, you know, or some actual shooting glasses. I need some. And that might be a better solution for you. Yeah, maybe a viewer will send some in for it. I'm just, I'm just hey, kidding. Hey, if there's a sponsor <laughs> out there, Smith Sunglasses. Smith, we're in Utah. You're in Utah. Okay. Throw some shades I this way. got their goggles, so I'm there a supporter. Go, right? of yeah, so we're supporters. So Smith, Oakley, is there an issue? You know, holler at my boy. But uh, no, I do agree with what you're saying. Um, like, if I would have never known this was available, I'm probably staying here as well. And this gun is a very, very viable carry gun simply because of the capacity, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's kind of like, I look at it like shoes. Yeah, I can get some nice, you know, dress loafers that put in my cool suit, whatever, you know, and they're comfortable and they're nice and they're okay. Then I can go get some like ones that are kind of like, you know, a little more bougie, leather soles, you know, maybe some fanciness to them. And it really does make a difference. And I feel that I paid more money for those shoes and I'm actually feeling that investment when I shoot this gun. Yeah. So these are the pandas and these are the scots. Pandas and Scots. Are those, I, shoe, I, are, are I those shoes? I, I haven't even ever bought a cool pair of Nikes. I have no interest. Oh, those in are retro it. Nikes. It was, it was a, so it you was, went to some shit that doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah, and it doesn't make sense to me either. I would no. never buy a pair of Nikes, but I understand because I have friends who oh buy God. them. So I made the reference, and someone will comment, oh my God. You couldn't have said like Alan Edmonds and some I Todd's? Know. I don't know what either of those are. Todd's sound like a fudge shoe. Oh my God. <laughs> If there's a content creator out there, somebody who's an action adult, um, that you weren't born in the late 90s, hit me up because this dude here is just killing me. 
But no, you guys, um, it was good to have Christian here. I like doing these kind of verses organics um, because number one, it might motivate him to actually get a carry gun now that he's doing all this overlanding stuff. Are you still working on building the release of the Overland channel? Yeah, first week of March. Oh shit, all right, so Chrissy's gonna be basically Mike Glover Jr. over here um, with his overlanding experience. But I do think that if you guys are out there and you are looking at both, you get your local gun range, spend the time, look at both guns, um, because it really is gonna come down to, I feel, guys like me in my age group have always lent towards a steel frame pistol. Um, but the weight reduction is a quarter pound difference. So with both having the same expansion chamber, trigger, mag capacity, um, if you could walk in your local gun shop, pick up one of these and some version of a micro red dot and you're well under 1200 bucks or right at 1200, that's a whole lot better than going $1,600 to way this one is set up. So pick your poison, man. But at the end of the day, I don't think you can go wrong with either pistol. It is all going to come down to what feels better in your hand and what, how many ducats you got in your wallet. So you guys, as always, thank you for watching. Um, appreciate the support. If you like what you see here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, notify the channel, hit the notifications, turn the bell on, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Be well. Mm -hmm.